Hey, what's going on, guys? Basic Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you a pretty efficient way to get renowned. So, top right in. So, first, you want to go to Matchmaking Preferences and the Options, and you're going to want to turn, go down to Terrorist Hunt and turn everything off except Terrorist Hunt Classic. And then you're going to go to House and turn off all the maps except House. So, you can use any operator, but I would recommend using Sledge because he's good for destroying barbed wire, and his guns are pretty good. So I'd use the assault rifle. I'd highly recommend ACOG, compensator, and vertical grip. You can use other stuff if you'd like though. And then holographic compensator, vertical grip. The laser is optional. So, oops, not situations. You're gonna go into terrorist hunt, lone wolf, and then you can you you can use hard if you're better at this game. But I'm just gonna do a normal just for demonstration purposes. So I'm gonna explain this real quick. When you get a kill, you get score. So when you like, let me show you real quick. You see that I have zero score right now. So, oh, you're gonna want an APC area by the way. So, when that score, at the end of the game, the more score you have, the more renown you get. So you can get bonuses on your score if you get, let's say, a headshot that gives you 10 extra point score. So you can get penetration, death from above, which is when you're repelling on a wall. So I find a really good spot for this. So you're going to want to run over from APC area and up here there's a little window and that window does not break so you get unlimited penetration so you're just going to get try to get a headshot it's not required though and you're just going to try to be patient so you're just going to wait and wait and eventually they'll start just coming towards you now at this spot you're completely invincible they cannot shoot back because they don't register since this window doesn't break it they think it's just like an invisible they think it's like an invisible wall or something like that so what you can do is you can just wait it out right here wait until you can usually get it to about 17 people left so usually you're gonna get one or two bombers at, at this spot also you can see that one bomber is coming up the stairs so i'll wait to get him reload so also, you get 80 points if it's a bomber, so bombers give you more points. Now, someone's gonna come up this stair normally. So, you gotta always look out for bombers, because those are the most annoying part. So, you're just gonna wait for the bomber to come to you. So, usually, this is why you have grenades. There's, there's usually gonna be someone in there or in there. So, you just wanna peek this so they're not in there. So, Okay, so they're not in there either. That does happen sometimes. So, you're just going to want to work from top to bottom, I would recommend. And then, I would use a grenade in here. If, but then, if you don't want to use it up, you can. Just shoot them. But, I would recommend using a grenade. It just gets rid of some of that risk. Okay, the barbed wire is gone. So, then I would recommend going to hatch. And just break in the hatch. And then, just jump in. Now you could take this slow, but I like to just go quick because it uses less time. If you die, you die, so be it. But just want to reload, reload. Now also, if you get flashed, if you prone, they won't shoot you. But if you're not flashed, it's somewhat will glitch. I've been doing some research, so we're just gonna want oh, take aim. Now, usually it's best to work from top to bottom. So, after you've done this, use hatches if possible because that just gives you more cover. So, they're there. If you have any grenades left, this would be a good time to use it, just when they're all clustered up or something similar to that. Now, you're just going to want to clear out as many as you possibly can without having to go into a firefight. So. Usually, some people might come from the, yep. So, after you, you think it's clear, the last guy, so, right there. That was pretty quick, that was about five, no, three minutes. So, usually you get about 120 to 130 renown, just doing normal running in, killing them, but if you use this tactic where you go up to the window and shoot them, get a headshot, penetration, and death from above, you get an extra maybe 20 to 30 renown. So, overall, it takes an extra probably about 20, 30 seconds to do, but you get an extra bit of renown. So, 
right here I got 154 so that's pretty good so I hope that this helps y'all out thanks for watching like comment subscribe thanks for watching